Hello friends, I do not know where I left off the vlog previously so I'm just going to start a new one because why not? So first off, I, I feel like I haven't moved. It may seem like I haven't moved. I promise I do move every now and again. Um, <laughs> sometimes. Finally finished editing all the videos I had filmed so now <laughs> now I need to film more videos <laughs> yay um so I feel like I'm kind of on track with what I want to do video wise and then there's these vlogs where most likely I am gonna just waffle on about absolute nonsense so to move on to something more fun maybe so i have these these are colin the caterpillars these are color gums and these are fruit gums um so i've never i've never tried colin the caterpillar i don't know why it could be because i don't really shop at marks and spencers I don't really shop at M&S. Um, there you go. I'm gonna try these because these are apparently expiring like tomorrow or something. I think it's fine anyway, but still. I also did not expect them to be this long. I expected them to be like this, not this. Anyway. So they kind of taste like the, what's they, what are they called? Is it Bassett's? Bassett's wine gums. I haven't had those in years either, but this is the, um, this is the, the, the flavoring I'm getting. Also, So I don't know what they were called, but they were like, they were about the size of this, just a bit thicker. And they were like fruit gums. Uh, and they came in loads of different weird colors and they were like, they were a bit harder than this actually. Um, and you used to just like, take a chunk out of it. They used to, I don't know what they were called, or who made them i just know that in the sweet shop when i was a kid before piano lessons um i used to meet a friend from school we weren't actually friend friends but we had this like every friday at 3 p.m <laughs> we'd meet up by the sweet shop buy each uh buy a sweet each and then she'd follow me uh like to my piano class and I should leave with memory very odd but that's what this is reminding me of I like it hi me again um so um I dropped a Colin the Caterpillar in my mug of tea. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna make the tea taste differently. So, my new bullet journal just arrived. And it arrived like this. Did they not have any packaging? <laughs> um, cool. So I've been filming some videos, some ASMR videos, and I, I don't want to say it went well because it was chaotic AF. So both, um, yeah. Um, 
So Tom and Oliver are literally going crazy. Yeah. And uh, they turned off the audio. The audio recording. And uh, the camera died. And uh, yeah, stuff happened. <laughs> But that's not what I wanted to say. So I was just like casually walking by here, you know, on my way to wash my face and stuff. And then I noticed this. Um, Mum, do you have any answers as to why this is in my shelf of DVDs? Because this is not a DVD. <laughs> So random. So random. Oh my god. Ugh. Right. Oh no. Okay. So, I have two updates. Hello, Oliver, you're so cute. So, yesterday I just, I was just looking for a show or something like quick and easy to watch um, while I had my dinner. I ended up binging the show. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it was only 10 episodes and it's like a comedy show, so it's short. And the show was That 90s Show. So That 90s Show is a spin-off of That 70s Show. I got sucked in. At first, when I saw, like, the, I don't know, I guess, little ad on the top of the page uh, on Netflix when I logged on, I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> they made a spin-off. I was like, yeah, I'll watch that later. Because I, I was looking at, like, the cast photo, and it kind of looked like they'd made the new cast look like the old cast. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? But honestly, it was so good. It was actually so good. Um, so there was like loads of cameos from the old cast, I guess, the original cast, uh, as well as uh, Kitty and Red Foreman. They are in the show all the time because it's, it's in the Foreman basement. Of course it is. Honestly, if you ever watch that 70s show, you will have so many, like, uh, I don't know, flashbacks <laughs> from the show. I really enjoy that. I was only supposed to watch the first episode while I had my dinner, and I ended up watching everything. I'm really curious to see if they're gonna make uh, a second season. Um, so the first season goes sort of like... Um, Eric and Donna's uh, daughter comes to say stay for the summer at her grandparents at Kitty, Kitty and Red's um, and then she makes a lot lots of new friends that live in town and then like in the last episode she goes back to I think it was Chicago they were living in so she leaves um, but I'm very curious to see if they would make more but if if not honestly that was so good. That was so good. Highly rated. Now, for the second, second update. So, after I binge watched that 90s show, I picked up my first book of the year. So, where did I put it? <coughs> so, I finally picked up the first book of the year. And it's the Chaos Court's uh, book club pick for January. And it's Destroyer by Meg Smitherman which is good because I mean it's almost the end of the month I mean it's the 27th of January today so I mean it's a good thing that I picked up the book <laughs> um what I didn't anticipate though so I picked up the book and I I guess it was like 11, 10, 11, something like that. I don't know. I didn't really look at the time. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just read before bed a bit. Um, I read until literally falling asleep. And I didn't fall asleep because it was a bad book. I fell asleep because it had been a long day. And 
I think it was like 2 or 3 a.m. when I fell asleep. And then I picked it up again. I fell asleep for about two or three hours, picked it up again and finished it. I wish I hadn't done that either because I have a very long day today and um, I could have used more sleep, I'm not gonna lie. However, it's a very good book. It's such an easy read. I didn't anticipate it to be that easily read. Oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> it was, hello? No, I don't have your balls. I put them away. So I didn't anticipate a fantasy book to be that easily digested, I guess. I think it helped a lot that it's only one POV. And that helps me massively because multiple POVs just confuse me a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there are a couple of bits here and there, um, mainly names, where I'm like, I don't know how to say that name and it's confusing me, um, which is very, very normal, but it's definitely not a lot of it. I also didn't anticipate a book this tiny, because it's a tiny, tiny little book, to have actually um, the font in it be not half a meter read. the cats are all awake distracting me my tired brain is very easily distracted right now okay <laughs> like the main thing I guess in the book is archaeology I know there are other books out there especially fantasy books that have like archaeology in them but there's so far a few between that it feels like a totally new concept, which is so fresh, it's insane. If I say too much, I'm gonna spoil the whole book and I don't wanna do that. So I'm trying to like, put, put the little words. I keep forgetting what I'm gonna say. So like I said, it's such an easy read and I'm very excited for book number two. Probably not as excited as Val and Katie, especially Val, um, who's made this whole book her whole entire personality now. I don't know if that's because it's archaeology based and she's an archaeologist or, you know, I don't know. Um, so it's, it, the book doesn't have that impact for me, but it was a very good, enjoyable book, so I will say that. There were some bits and pieces, like, you can you can tell that the character Rue, she's literally going through a change throughout, especially, um, like, in the middle towards the end, I guess. And it's like that middle, let's see, the third quarter of the book, I guess, where she was getting on my nerves. <laughs> She was a bit annoying. Yeah, she was a bit annoying to me, but at the same time, if she hadn't gone through what she's going through, um, her, like, I don't know, personality changes, that's not really the right term of it, but if she hadn't gone through that, it wouldn't have worked. The rest of the book ha wouldn't have worked. Um, but yeah, she was a bit of annoying, and... Uh, yeah, I kind of saw the twist uh, coming as well, so it was a bit, I, w I wasn't too um, surprised about the twists and the turns, uh, but that doesn't mean, to me at least, that doesn't ruin a book, um, but I know it does for a lot of people, but I'm, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I'm very easily pleased, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I think this vlog is actually gonna be up after um, the live show for, for, for this book, where um, Meg Smith, the man herself, is gonna answer some questions that's been like in the, um, it been in the Discord? No, that's been um, added into the Discord channel. Oh, words. Anyway, 
Um, I need to go get caffeinated um, because I have a lot of things to accomplish. <sighs> Today's going to be a long day. I have a list. Um, I need to add a few things because I need to add that um, I need to write about Destroyer. Because um, one of the things I want to do this year as well is um, I want to start writing reviews again. It will probably not be for all the books I've read. Um, definitely not books I haven't enjoyed, but <coughs> especially like the Discord books, not the Discord books, the book club books and stuff. I want to do um, uh, short reviews on them um, because it's all indie authors, so you know it helps a lot um, to get their books out there, which is kind of half the point. Anyway, I need to get caffeinated, I need to get food in me, I especially need to get caffeinated. Yeah! Oh, what's the look? Tom, why are you going in the wardrobe? Really? No. I don't know why you want to go in the wardrobe. Oh, so... I can't show you because that's literally gonna make him go crazy. So, um, one of Tom's favorite like toys are these like bouncy balls. They have like little knots on them, so they go like different directions. It's not like just straight on. And um, I bought a new packet um, just before Christmas, um, which I hadn't opened yet. Yeah. And uh, while I was sleeping, Tom apparently learned how to open that packet, and he brought me he brought me different balls to throw in my sleep. Yeah, so now we have a lot of bounty balls everywhere. Great, Tom and his balls. Okay, bye.